The simplest way to understand the pace dynamics and overall race shape is to view the position of the horses relative to each other on the optics plot. The x-axis represents the early pace position, or where the horse should be at the first call. The farther to the left on the plot, the closer to the lead positionally a horse is at the first point of call. The y-axis represents the early pace velocity of a horse. The pace velocity is a measurement of how fast a horse runs from the first point of call to the second. So the higher up on the y-axis a horse lies, the faster the horse is to the second point of call. Then, if you view the plot on the white diagonal line from top left to lower right, you'll get a very good sense of where in the race a horse will be positioned turning for home. And that is where a horse's finishing ability comes into play. Each horse is surrounded by a circle or a square. The geometrical shape and its size let you know a horse's closing pace velocity or its finishing ability. Circles represent horses with average to weak finishing ability, while squares represent horses with average to strong finishing ability. The larger the circle, the weaker the finishing ability of the horse. The larger the square, the stronger the finishing ability of the horse. Each optics plot is divided into four quadrants. Quadrant 1 represents speed horses or pressers with good early pace position and velocity. Quadrant 2 represents stalkers or mid-pack types. Quadrant 3 also represents speed horses or pressers, but ones who lack early pace velocity. And Quadrant 4 represents mid-pack types or deep closers. The placing and spacing of the horses on the plot is important because it represents the pace dynamics during the early parts of the race while the geometric shapes let you know a horse's finishing ability. Once you understand the race shape, you'll have a very good idea of who the contenders are based on the pace and flow of the race.